Comparing Perspectives, Diving Deep Into Literature Hello language learners! Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating aspect of literature, analyzing perspectives. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how different perspectives shape the narrative and create a unique experience for the reader. Let's dive right in. Perspective in literature refers to the viewpoint or lens through which a story is told. It's the voice behind the words. This can be the protagonist, an omniscient narrator, or even an inanimate object. The choice of perspective can greatly influence how events are interpreted and understood by the reader. Have you ever heard the saying, there are two sides to every story? Well, in literature, there can be even more. Different perspectives can provide varied insights into the same event. By comparing and contrasting these viewpoints, we can gain a deeper understanding of the characters, plot, and themes of the story. 1. Character Depth Seeing events through multiple eyes allows us to understand different characters' motivations and feelings more deeply. 2. Plot Complexity Multiple perspectives can create suspense or dramatic irony, where the reader knows something that a character doesn't. 3. Theme Exploration Different viewpoints can explore varied facets of the same theme, creating a richer narrative tapestry. When comparing perspectives, we're looking for both similarities and differences. Here's a simple strategy. 1. Identify the perspectives. Determine who or what is telling the story. Is it a first-person narrator? Third-person omniscient? Multiple characters? 2. List key events. Note down major plot points as told by different perspectives. 3. Analyze emotions and motivations. How does each perspective interpret these events? Are there contrasting emotions or motivations? 4. Draw conclusions. Based on your comparison, what can you infer about the characters or plot that you might have missed from a single perspective? To illustrate, let's consider a classic, The Great Gatsby, by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The story is told through Nick Carraway's eyes, but imagine if Daisy or Tom had narrated it. Would our sympathies shift? Would certain events be painted in a different light? Another example is A Song of Ice and Fire, series by George R. R. Martin. The story jumps between multiple characters' viewpoints, offering different takes on events, alliances, and betrayals. This rich tapestry of perspectives is part of what makes the series so engaging. Exploring perspective in literature is like opening multiple windows into the same room. Each viewpoint offers a unique scene, and by comparing and contrasting them, we enrich our understanding of the narrative. So, the next time you pick up a book, take a moment to consider whose eyes you're seeing through. Until next time, happy reading and happy learning.